Tonight, six months after a pregnant MoDOT worker and her colleague were hit by a car and killed on the job, the family of Caitlin Anderson wants to make sure her death was not in vain. Fox News' Stephanie Rothman joins us live now from Arnold Park where a 5K to raise awareness about work zone safety is being held in Anderson's honor tomorrow. Stephanie? Well, 12 hours from now, 200 people will be walking over here to pay tribute to this worker who died. Her family's been working tirelessly to raise money for a foundation in her name. And now they're hoping this walk will be one more step towards preventing this from happening to another person. Kids playing, families walking around a pond. The Arnold City Park is a living reminder and the scene of a fundraiser for a mother to be gone too soon. How did this happen? How do you go to work and not come home at 25 years old with your pregnant belly waiting to have the most awesome, beautiful baby boy ever and you just don't come home because of careless negligence? Tabitha Moore is Caitlin's aunt. She's one of several family members behind the walk called Slow Down and Move Over. There's no peace. There's no closure. All there is is frustration and waiting. Caitlin was almost six months pregnant with her son Jax when they died. Well, there's so many little things that you think about just are never going to happen, all because MoDOT didn't send a TMA, all because Stan chose to drive a car and not pull over when he started not feeling well. So, I mean, these decisions affect other people's lives and it has ruined families. But the family pushes on with the walkathon. In this case, slow and steady wins the race. The last person to finish will get a trophy, emphasizing their call to be cautious. The goal is to help those in pain by channeling their grief towards helping others with their foundation, Kate's love for Jax. The family has sent over 600 care packages to those also grieving from a loss. I know that we're bringing comfort to people and I'm proud of that, uh, but it's also difficult some days. It's a difficult reminder that our wound is still very fresh and we're, you know, we're still waiting for so many answers. And the family has been lobbying in Jefferson City to get two bills passed that would help them make sure there are th protocols in place to prevent a worker from dying the way that Caitlin did. As for the 5K, if you haven't signed up, there will be walk-up registration available. Reporting in Arnold, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.